uh, how you do? That's a bad way to start up a video. Screaming, uh. Well, um, move this. On my last Mumble video, some people had some problems, and I wanted to clarify some things. Open up Mumble real quick. This takes a while since I'm recording. Hurt, dirt, hurt. Alright, it's on there. And, um, let me mute myself. Alright, it's on here now. So, um, some things about Minecraft. If you're gonna run this game with Minecraft, uh, go to settings. And if you're, this is only if you're running, uh, 64 bit Windows, go to settings, overlay, and, uh, go to overlay Excep exceptions. And um, you want to go to wherever your Java is. Like, if you have 32-bit Java, then you go to your programs file, 36, Java, JRE6, bin, and then java.exe. Or, instead of doing all that, which most people don't want to, you just go over here and you uncheck this box right there. And boom, it works. You can set up Minecraft, everything works, all your games work fine. Um... I'm just going to enable that though because I already found the fix for it myself. Now if you uncheck this advanced box, which is what I did, you'll get a lot less settings here. And if you want to be able to use all the features that Mumble has, just go ahead and check that. And boom, you automatically have all these features here. You can change your audio, press audio stuff. Like if you have a lot of background noise on your microphone, change this noise suppression level. Like move it up and down and then test it and uh, it'll, it should fix all that fuzzy stuff. It will at least try to. Um, right here is signal to noise ratio. It won't work in my microphone because the volume is way too loud on it now. Yeah, I had to like put it down for this video. Um, it'll judge when you're talking from when you're not talking and it will only transmit your audio when you're talking automatically. Push to talk. Uh, if you don't, if you didn't do the audio wizard, you can go in here and click on add assignment I mean now you click on function go to push to talk and you click a shortcut cut you press any key and it'll program that key to um, your push to talk thingy I've already did that and my push to talk key is left alt right there um, user interface what I did right here is I checked optimize for high contrast I use um, system default and I put it on classic why did I do that because um you see the little lines right here? These these lines describe like the chat rooms. Like this is the root chat room. This is where all this is the entire server basically. This is the AFK room, which is an optional room you can join, and this is just me hanging out in the root. Because I used to have a bunch of rooms on here, but I got rid of them because all I need is the basic chat room and the AFK chat room. So when people join, they don't just they don't want, if they don't want to hear somebody, they just go to that room and uh, it disables their microphone form. Now, positional audio. This is another feature of Bumble. It's whenever you're in a game, this may sound pretty cool, but if somebody's behind you in the game that you're playing, it will transmit their audio through Bumble like they're actually behind you. And if they move over to the side of you, like if you're playing a first person shooter, that'd actually be pretty fun. Because one person would be on the side of you and you would hear them on like that side of you. If they're in front of you, you would hear them in that direction. Um, what else? Well, that's pretty much it for Mumble. You could uh, change your you could change your user interface, making your style style look different. But uh, I like mine the way it is. But you can just experiment with that. The skin thing right here. Just don't worry about it. All the skins are automatically crap. Um, if you check this, when you minimize Mumble, it will go to your dock. Well, not your dock, your taskbar. And um, that's pretty much it. Oh, God, I keep saying that's pretty much it, but I know there's more stuff. Um, my blog, like I told you in my last video, I won't link it in this one. Ah! If you go to Mumble, at, well, you go on the Mumble tab, and you see Mumble, Voice, and Server. Right here, I have what's uh, I have a hyperlinked Mumble link. You don't need to worry about it, but basically all I did was, um, instead of HTTP, I put m um, Mumble, colon, slash, slash, my IP address colon the port so when you click on the image it will lop you into my server it'll just put you in the root chat and if you want to join my server <laughs> all means I need more people on here 
um, just go ahead and click that. If you have any more questions, just ask me. I'm, I figured out how to make these videos a little bit better now, so I can record them whenever you want. Thank you. Derp.